Okay, I'm using this setup that I use for my community uh, members uh, to record this video. Anyway, uh, once again, I'm uh, absent for the most part on LinkedIn. I'm like, why am I not using this and answering some questions I always get uh, for what I do. And I do a lot of different things within audio. And one thing I, I just wanted to talk about this today was um, podcasts. Everybody, um, I'm making a joke that everybody has a podcast. It's kind of true. But a lot of people, um, I don't know if they know what they can do to record podcasts. Because, you know, the thing is, like, at least for me, the, the clients that I have, I produce podcasts. I produce um, uh, Lance Armstrong's The, uh, the Move. Um, or sorry, the forward, the move was another, I think he changed it to move. Um, I produced the Vuelta series for We Do Sports. Um, I produce, um, Love Pop Culture, who I edit and, uh, co-produce. Um, I produce the Young Ones podcast, the, um, Two Games Walk Into a Bar. But anyway, I produce a lot of podcasts. And, um... A lot of times people want to, especially if you're not in the audio world, if you're just in, you know, whatever world you're in, whether that's culture, art, or music, or sports, whatever, you just want to create the thing and let somebody handle the dirty work, I guess I could put it that way. So, I'm just going to give a couple of resources that my clients use and typically how they deliver things to me. Um, one client I have... Um, they have a Zoom recorder, which is a portable digital hard disk recorder, hard drive recorder, um, that you can plug mics into Zoom. Makes it Z-O-O-M. Um, and you can buy that. It's not, I think it's fairly cheap. I think it might be three, four $400. But anyway, it is an investment. But you can get that, and you can plug up to, I do believe, at least the one I know most of my clients have is two microphones. It does have microphones built in, which you can use. But you also have the ability to plug into microphones. And you, it's portable. You don't have to have a, you lug a computer around. It's really great. But then again, you have to lug mics around. So, compromise. Um, and you can record two tracks of audio. So, you and a guest, you can do that. Um, I do have clients that use, um, obviously, uh, laptops. And you can use anything from GarageBand, Pro Tools, uh, Logic. And then you can have multiple inputs um, if you have two mics or more or one mic um also there are things you you can use zoom uh, can record audio and video and uh, which has been really popular now with everyone social distancing uh, we do quite a bit of that actually um you can record with skype those offer recording options um and zencaster is another option that uh, one of my clients use quite a bit, which kind of combines both, where you're recording together, but the Zencaster uh, platform separates each person's microphone, which is important getting to this point. Well, let me, let me bring up one other instance. Anchor is another app and platform that people use to podcast. I use Anchor um, for my podcast with Mini Producer. Um, it works on my iPad. You can record, edit, distribute, all that stuff straight through that. So that's great. And once again, with all these podcasts, you know, I'm working in different capacities. So some I'm just editing, some I am producing, some I am literally just mixing, um, some I am distribu or putting it up to the distribution platform. So there are all these different levels of this. And, you know, if you're a business... That want, or an individual that wants to do a podcast, it, you know, I, I can easily sit here and say, oh, you need a producer, you know. Um, not everyone needs one. Um, of course, I like it when people need one or would like one because that means business for me. Um, but you can record a lot of these yourselves and distribute them yourselves. I think what separates, you know, it, it's really how professional do you want it to sound and be? Because, you know, if you're having musical... Like, Anchor... See, Anchor offers music transitions, 
but not to the level that I can do in my own studio. You know, it can do a little segment of music and then a talking segment, segment of music. But when you have someone produce your podcast, you can layer things. So I can have music coming in under your intro and going out when your when your main podcast is coming in. Like all of these things, you just add those little professional edges. And of course, you can mix um, when you're sending the files to a producer such as myself so I can actually level and remove background noise and quick. there's a, just a lot of things when you have um you know uh audio tools at your hands uh at your fingertips I should say that you can just really give it that professional sound and by the way there's some podcasts I like when they don't sound super clean and they sound very organic and just conversational I think just like any kind of art form a podcast can be really kind of whatever you want. But I think a lot of times if you are a business and you want to, um, you know, kind of, it's just like music. If you want to sit up there with, you know, the bigger artists, you have to have a certain sonic quality and a certain, you know, just loudness and clarity and things like that. So it's, it's, it really is like the music business uh, in, in kind of in that way. Um, you know, and the more professional you can make it, the more, um, you can attract potential listeners and potential advertisers, which is really where people are making, you know, a living on podcasting is advertisers. You get a certain amount of listeners and, um, you can definitely garner some attention and, uh, advertisers coming your way. Now that doesn't happen automatically. It's just like music. People think, oh, I'm going to put out a song. This is the best song ever. And it's not. And people go, how come people aren't listening to my song? And there's way crappier songs out there. And people are listening to those. I don't know. I mean, it it could be awareness. Most of the time it's awareness. It's literally aware. Well, in my estimation... Word of mouth leads to awareness, obviously. So, one has to be, I think it has to be relatively good. But, you know, uh, awareness is, is is half of it, if not more. I don't even want to put it in numbers. But just knowing it's there. If people know it's there, then they have the option. But they don't even know it's there. How are, you know, how are you going to gain um, listeners or, you know, uh, followers? So, that's a whole other world. That's one thing that I don't do. I can, you know, answer any questions somebody might have about recording or editing a podcast, you know, bring them on. But as far as, you know, marketing, advertising, not really my skill. Um, and, you know, I leave that. See, just like I'm a, I handle one aspect of it, but even like me, like, you know, my, my podcasts are kind of hobbies, so I don't really put a whole lot of, um, marketing into that um but if i were a business i would but i would get somebody that knows how to do that and ask them to do it just like a producer music producer if you're a great songwriter go find a producer that can make it a reality like those kind of things so um everybody kind of plays their part in that that puzzle um also it just dawned on me when i was just talking there that not everyone's a great podcast host. Not everyone is, you know, I have worked with some great interviewers. Like, I'm really fortunate that the podcasts I have produced have been really great. People that are naturally gifted at interviewing. I tend to say, um, and but, and anyway, a whole lot. And you really become self-aware of these things. So if anything, it'll help you become self-aware when you listen back to yourself and you say how many damn times did I say um or anyway that's me all right so I hope this was kind of informative maybe I can do more if you have any questions about podcasts or music obviously my whole career has been music it's not even podcasts but it's so relevant now you know it's like back when well people everybody wants to be an artist just like everybody wants to have a podcast so if you have questions, hit me up. Hopefully I can answer them. Okay. Hope you have a great uh, 
Monday or whenever you're watching this. Just have a great day.